Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice with Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Vinland Saga Episode 9. Now, in the last episode, Thorfinn finally got his rematch. His second rematch, he wanted to duel Askeladd again after Askeladd pretty much handled him and then told him, you know, come back and fight me after you've achieved something on the battlefield. Well, he went to the battlefield, he took the captain's head, slammed it on the table, and said, you duel me right now and so they went and dueled and it actually looked it looked relatively close i can't say that Askelid would have won for sure and i can't say that thorfinn would have won for sure but through Askelid's experience on the battlefield he knew how to exploit thorfinn's weakness he knew that thorfinn was still very sensitive about what happened to his dad and so Askelid started kind of poking fun at him and then he got reckless, he charged towards him, and then Askeladd just ended it right then and there, no questions, and Thorfinn, that just showed that Thorfinn still has a long way to go, if he wants to actually take out Askeladd one day. But, another thing that happened last episode was we met this slave woman, and the reason why she's so important is because she comes in, taps him on the shoulder and he's immediately like freaked out he's holding a dagger up to her throat and she's like hey calm down man i just came to bring you some food but she brought up a really important point where she said that her and thorfinn are kind of the same she kind of saw a bit of herself in him but if you really boil it down and think about it thorfinn is a slave to his past he can't let go what Askelid did to his dad he can't forgive him and he feels like he has to get revenge in order to kind of make up for Askeladd killing his dad and because of that it's almost like he's becoming consumed by this revenge that he's trying to get and therefore he is a slave to it but anyways we have a brand spanking new episode to get into so if you guys are excited make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content and with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode Alright, so this is the part of the episode where you guys will be grabbing your source videos. If you do not have one already, look no further, because I will have one in the description. It'll be the first link that you see down there. All you gotta do is click it and bring it up, and then get ready to sync it with me. Because we will be starting this episode in... 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, volume good? Volume's good, alright. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's see what's up. We're in England. The Battle of London Bridge. Dang! Wait, was this really a thing? Was this really, like, the beginning stages of the London Bridge we know today? That's actually really interesting. Thorkel. Thorkel the Tall. He's in bed with the enemy for money. We can't let that slide. Dang. Oh my gosh. Look at all those long boats. Dang, all right. I mean, hey, everybody has their reasons. Thames River. Oh man, so do we have the big dogs from like all the different clans? Trying to duke it out over this territory. Oh, 
Look at him sharpening his blade. Dang. Straight up. His reward. Oh, the duel. Oh. Yep, see? Escalade knows right where to poke. Ooh, okay. Oh. I I don't know if your dad wants that. He tossed it right back. Hmm. Phew. Yeah. But just as we saw right there. Oh, this must be Thorkel. Thorkel. All right, and we're into the opening. But yeah, just as we saw there, Thorfinn, he pretty much just, he got got again. Like, Askelid, while they were fighting, he poked at his sensitive spots, and then Thorfinn ended up being reckless and kind of lashed out at him and lost because of it. And then right there, he did it again, just casually, and we saw Thorfinn, you know, he threw his dagger. So... Ascalade kind of has him eating out of the palm of his hand right now. He's going to have to figure out something if he wants to actually beat him in a duel. Because he says this next duel is going to be Ascalade's last. So hopefully you learned um, learned from your mistake in the last duel. Because I want to see Thorfinn win. I want to see... I really want to see where Thorfinn goes after that. After he gets this revenge that he's striving for. Is he going to go back home with his family and kind of, you know, live a peaceful life there? Or is he going to keep walking down this path of war? That's what I'm most interested in right now. But I mean, dang, seeing all these big names like Thorkel the Tall and, you know, we got Denmark versus England. And these fights are pretty interesting, too. Yams Vikings. Ooh. Let's see what this Thorkel guy is all about. Oh, dang, they don't care. What? Did he just chuck a boulder? Or a cannonball? Like, what is he throwing at them? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Their boat is not making it through there. Dang! This dude is actually a Goliath. In the words of His Highness. Oh, so I guess Askelid was wrong. Dude, he's so tall.
Dang. This country is finished. Ugh. Dang. Okay, so this guy just loves the thrill of the fight. He doesn't care about their negotiations. He's not intimidated. He welcomes the fight, actually. Oh! Asklid was right. Oh! Dang! Maybe I need to put more respect on Asklid's name. Because he must have known that it was going to end this way. Look at them, rowing away like cowards. Hiring other men to do the dirty work for them like cowards. The Yams Vikings, man, they get no respect from me. Dang. He is not afraid. Dang. But can they take him out? Or is he just going to send like a ton of people? Oh, uh, yep. Here comes all the rowboats. Man, this honestly has me thinking, are these guys even strong? Like, I know they have a pretty reputable name, but... Like, dang, if they need to outnumber their opponents by this much just to win... Then I don't know if these guys are that impressive. I mean, they look kind of average, too. They're not like Askelid's crew who, like, stormed into that uh, territory and just wrecked those guys. Dang! He's about to skewer them! <laughs> They're done! Dang, I feel like this guy is a bit cocky, though. And it might come to bite him in the butt later. Ooh, man. Oh, and here's Askelid's crew. Dude, why does Thorfinn always look like he's about to wreck someone's life? That's Thorkel. Can you take him out? Man, they have terrible aim. <laughs> They're just literally dropping those boulders into the water. D Ding! Ooh! Dang, it's literally like speed versus brute strength right now. And this is awesome. Ugh, for a kid. You might have to prove him wrong real quick, Thorfinn. He's mine. All right, let's see if he can do it. D 
Dang! Almost grazed him. And he cut his wrist. Dang, but he's not even phased. And Thorfinn's getting tired. Ugh. Dang! Ooh, he's pretty quick on his feet, too! He has those, like, heavy hands, though, so it takes him a while to get there, but... He definitely... He knows how to fight. Or he knows how to use his strength... To his advantage. But it looks like Thorfinn's figured something out. Is the distraction? Ooh. Oh, he lost balance. Oh, he caught himself. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but I got you. Dang! This dude is a monster! Oh my gosh! How can he still fight so casually? It's like, it's like that blade did nothing. He is just slamming Thorfinn. Even though Thorfinn's the one that stabbed through his hand. Dang. And they just dipped. I don't think he's done yet. Nah, he didn't drop the dagger. Oh! He got his fingers. Dang. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood. Dude, how can he be so calm? Does he know him? And he left. Let him go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This dude, like, if he isn't just the embodiment of this, like, Viking era, then I don't know who is, man. He took a dagger through his hand and lost his fingers. And he's like, yo, Thorfinn, that was fun, man. Come back again. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. It was kind of funny, though. That whole, uh... Thorfinn stabbing him in the hand and him getting slammed. It's kind of like you putting a leash on a dog, and then the dog is the one dragging you around. Like, you think you're in control. But really, it's the other way around.
Canute. Ragnar. Hmm. Here's a Thorfinn. He's got some broken bones. Dang, an Askla dipped. Dang. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The fight's over already? He's like, wait, it can't be over yet. We were just getting started. <laughs> Dude, to this man, losing his fingers was just a warm up. How did he end up how did he end up finding them? Ah, man. That was that was a nasty sound right there. He's going to keep walking or limping with the rest of the crew. Aren't you guys already rich? You guys like raided an entire treasury. I think this was a good wake up call for Thorfinn. To show him that he still has much to learn. I think before this, he thought that Askeladd was the only person. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I guess he thought that Askeladd was the only person that he couldn't beat. 
And so that's why when Askeladd told him to kill Thorkel, he was like, oh, easy peasy. I'll go kill Thorkel and then I'm getting my duel. And then he goes over there and the opposite happens. And then he realizes like, dang, maybe I underestimated this man. Maybe I'm a lot weaker than I thought I was. Alright, so that is the end of episode 9 of Vinland Saga, and honestly, I really liked it. That fight between Thorkel and Thorfinn was intense. It was every little bit as awesome as I thought it would be, and honestly, I'm gonna watch it again after this. That fight was sick. Seeing, like, normally you would think, like, the person that has the speed advantage would win, because, you know, he could just bob and weave everything. But this guy, Thorkel, obviously has experience. He knows how to use his strength. He knows how to fight against fast opponents and he pretty much just brute forced his way to victory thorfinn thought that he clearly had the advantage he had his dagger he was going straight for his neck and then that's when thorkel used his hand to kind of cushion the blow stop it from reaching his neck and then he just took advantage of that position he was like oh all right well i stopped your blade now you can't use it anymore i'm just gonna grab onto your hand and slam you around and now like even though Thorfinn cut his fingers off and stabbed through his hand that fight it was so convincing like Thorkel easily outclassed him and I don't think anyone would argue that because Thorkel he's living up to his reputation like the Yams Vikings who were afraid of him so, and we know why now so that was really cool to see but yeah that is going to be the end of the episode so thank you guys so so much for checking out the video if you did make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice shonen content and with that i am going to head out so i'll catch you guys in the next one have a good one